Here we're looking at the box axle hole. You can see the wedge down in there. It's because we drilled from both sides and tried to meet up in the middle and we failed. I just set up the tree on the two old 10 footers. So now I can roll the tree back and forth as I work on it. That'll be pretty convenient. So I chiseled out the top a little bit just to kind of smooth it. I think you can kind of tell it's a it's a cleaner surface now than it was. It used to look kind of like that. And I'm expanding the hole towards the bottom. So when I'm done, this will fit a 4x6 in it. I'm going to test fit with this piece. So I'm sawing just to this side of the line. And then I'm just starting the groove on the other side. I'm going to flip the tree around and then saw to the line on the other side. And I'm doing a cut, you know, what is that, every three quarters of an inch, kind of. I'll probably do three more cuts. I've done three already. And then I hope to just come back in and chisel that out. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, I think I've sawn down to the lines. Alright, I'm getting somewhere. It's been about... 15 20 minutes since I took the last video uh, When chiseling you got to go in uh, Increments so you can't do the whole thing at once um, So I started at about half the chisel rides towards uh, Right rides with the bevel so if you chisel in like this It'll want to dig in too far so I've been chiseling beveled down and it digs up and then you just take layers off and uh, I'm thinking let's film it so you can see me in action this will be fun My test 4x6 is through the hole, pretty snug. Alright, I'm back in the shop. I picked up the axles today from uh, Paul Anderson local wood turner awesome guy very nice uh, this is the box axle this is very nice very smooth very round likely exactly the right size and it's hefty weighs a good chunk now next up is the main axle So, this transition area is a bit weird. I probably should have told him to take it straight down to the thing instead of weaving a bit of a lip here, but oh well, I don't know. A um, bit of tear out there. Now we get into the main block here, we got a knot. This knot's right on the edge. This one goes through to the other side. Yep. 
Now this side's the side that had some splitting that I put glue on. There's that tear out. Now to the other side. Um, I was doing cuts down to the line and then I was gonna uh, cut all this off. I was doing relief cuts basically and um, I cut a little bit too deep. So he took it down to the exactly right size, but then it's my cuts that screwed it up. That one's probably the most concerning. I just noticed that actually. So this is definitely the sketchier end of the thing. This end's pretty solid. Not sure about this main axle, man. I'm gonna have to coat it with some kind of sealer. It's uncoated right now. This is the first successful test fit of the main axle, the actual one, in the tree. I definitely uh, <laughs> don't want to go any looser than that. I just uh, loosened it up a little bit too much. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is take off the rope, label all the boards with Sharpie so I know which one goes back where, and then I'm going to take off all the boards, and then once those are off, I'll get a look at what's inside, and then I'll tell you the plan from there, I suppose. But anyway, check out the, check it out, oh man, I'm in your sunlight. Uh, I can't avoid being in your sunlight. Okay, so this is the bottom. That's bad, man. Wow. So I'm going to take off the rope, and then I'm going to fiber fix it. I'll do both rolls of fiber fix on the bottom with the crack because that what that's what really matters and then I'll chisel out the top so that the axle fits I had a dumb problem I mean as you're wrapping back and forth and back and forth you end up with more in the middle than you wanted that's kind of the case here there's like a wrap too much in the middle and so it's extra thin here and I'm gonna have to widen out 
so the axle will fit again. So I got the top and bottom braces on. I sort of did a lousy job of trying to shim them because there's so many freaking cracks. Um, but I'm putting on these boards when, with the grain. I did the one bolt just to hold them onto the tree and then I'm doing a screw into this board. This is shot number three, 16 pound bowling ball, 1,000 pounds of counterweight. Going in five, four, three, two, one.